Want to become a more successful gardener? Remember these three words. Soil is alive. It truly is. This little bed here is teeming with billions and billions of organisms of all kinds. And yet, each spring, as sort of an annual rite of spring, you see all sorts of gardeners firing up their big old gas-powered rototillers and pulverizing the soil, which is destroying those microorganisms and doing a number of other harmful things as well. There's a much easier way. It's a no-till method. Here's how you do it. One approach is to take a good old garden fork, nice solid steel tines, and all you do is stab and rock, kind of like this. Stab and rock just a little bit. Now in the process, I'm loosening the soil a little bit, aerating it, more oxygen can get into the subsoil a little bit, into the root zone of where ultimately some plants will be, without disturbing it all that much. And this also loosens that subsoil so roots can penetrate more deeply into it. Now this is an easy way to do it really. And you can get a nice rhythm going, play some music while you're doing it. But if you got a big area, you need a bigger tool. And here it is. This is the broad fork. This is the big mamma jamma, serious tool. This one, it's the same motion. Stab and rock. Stab and rock. Now this is a pretty heavy tool. You might want to take a break now and then. Ugh. But not a guy like me. So here I am without using any power tools, without polluting the atmosphere, and without destroying the soil all that much. I'm improving it to the point where it'll be ready for plants, well, tomorrow.